The Louisiana State Archives was established in 1956 due to the vision of then Secretary of State Wade Martin Jr. He worked alongside Edwin Davis, who's known as the father of the Louisiana State Archives, to secure legislation for the creation of the Louisiana State Archives. And then after his tenure as Secretary of State, the funding was finally secured to erect this building, which was completed in 1987. The five-panel facade of the Louisiana State Archives building in Baton Rouge is one of the most interesting features of the building. These five panels, sculpted by the noted Baton Rouge artist Al Laverne, offer a panoramic study in stone of Louisiana's unique history, both as a colony and as a state. Each panel measures 10 feet by 20 feet and weighs in excess of 12 tons. So as guests enter the lobby of the State Archives building, you're greeted with the Louisiana Room. My name is Ann Wheeler and I'm our exhibit curator at the Louisiana State Archives. We have a variety of exhibits that come through every six months. We rotate them and we do a different theme each time. Our current exhibit at the Louisiana State Archives is fairs, festivals, and fun. So what we did is in each case, we featured a different festival from around the state. A lot of them are actually agricultural festivals and we got them to donate materials to the archives to be part of our permanent collections. And then we combined the donated materials with collections that we already had that were pertinent to the different topics. And we put one in each case. The Wade O. Martin Auditorium here at the Archives is a great resource for agencies and other organizations that would like to hold functions, including meetings, conventions, or conferences. My job duties as Archives Manager are to oversee the four different departments within the Archives. That would be the Research Library, the Archival Permanent Holdings, which include both paper and audiovisual materials, the Records Services section, which entails both Records Management and the Records Center, and the Imaging and Preservation Services, which were formerly known as Microfilm. Um, I supervise the supervisors of those four sections, working with them as a team to make sure that we continue everything, all the work and the productivity levels, addressing issues as they arise, and just making sure we're doing a good job. Here in the Research Library, patrons have access to the vital records for the state of Louisiana, our archival collection, and the book collection that focuses on Louisiana history. My name is Bill Stafford. I manage the research library where uh, we're kind of the pathway for which researchers and the public come in and do research on the archival collections as well as the collections within the library. Being an archives, not a museum, we have things that come in as collections and large collections and therefore we may not get to the file level and so we make discoveries all the time. Uh, you know, it may be something about John Lafitte, the pirate. It may be something about Marie Laveau, uh, the uh, uh, voodoo queen of New Orleans. Uh, it may just be about the average individual. Uh, but I would say my absolute thing that I enjoy the most is helping the public find their ancestors. Our records management team works with state and local agencies to ensure that they're in compliance with Louisiana's public records law. My name's Amy Moran. I'm the Records Services Supervisor for the Louisiana State Archives. My main role is to oversee the records management practices of the over 4,000 state and local government agencies in the state of Louisiana. Um, I also make sure that they comply with Louisiana's public records law. It's very important that state and local agencies actually maintain their records properly because um, for a multitude of things. One thing is for legal purposes, the law states that you're actually supposed to maintain records for a certain period of time. Um, and they might be public records where someone wants a public records request or something like that. Um, also, it helps for records management purpose in-house. It helps them financially to know what they need to keep and what they don't, if it's gonna cost storage fees or if it's not. And also lastly, you know, if there's any kind of federal regulations that are associated with it, you also want to make sure that they are in compliance with those as well. So the Record Center is a temporary storage set up by law specifically for state agencies to store state records in at a certain time frame. And whenever those uh, time frames are up, they are ready to sign off on them and we get rid of them from there. My role is to make sure that everything is uh, 
in order. You'd be surprised at the things that would uh, happen if just one number is wrong. Our space is 58,000 cubic feet, so it is pretty large. The Imaging and Preservation Services section provides conversion and digital services for state and local agencies. My name is Charlene Daniels. I am the lead worker for the Imaging Department. I oversee the operations of the Imaging Department, which include scanning, making digital images and microfilm, and preserving their records. With microfilming jobs, that's one area that's really changed quite a bit because with new technologies and more and more agencies are looking for digital images as an output rather than microfilm, um, which we still consider the gold standard for preservation purposes, but a lot of times we are filming materials for, not necessarily for access more than preservation. And on computer, if there's a glitch, you may lose it all, but by preserving it on microfilm, you still have a copy of it. You can always make a copy from the microfilm reel. Here in the stacks of the archives are the permanent records for the state of Louisiana, consisting of both government records and private donations. My name is Brad France, and I'm the Archive Services Supervisor. I oversee the Acquisitions Department, the Audiovisual Department, and the Exhibits Department. The Acquisitions Department receives collections through transmittals from state agencies and by acts of donation from the general public. Archivists process these collections, enter the metadata into our online database, and scan the items for digital files, which we then share with the Louisiana Digital Library. The Exhibits Department utilizes items from all collections at the Louisiana State Archives to present them thematically for the public to see. The Audiovisual Department consists of film, tape, digital files, and audio collections in various formats. Our archivists digitize some assets at the archives, but send out larger collections to transfer houses for digitization. Footage from our audiovisual collections have been used in productions by the History Channel, the Discovery Channel, and by filmmakers Michael Moore and Spike Lee. We have five vaults at the archives, which house unique items from Louisiana's colorful past, which merit additional security and preservation. I think my favorite part of working at the State Archives is being able to uncover some aspects of Louisiana's history uh, that the public may not have seen for a very long time or may never have seen, and then to make that accessible to the public. For instance, uh, most of my career here I've worked in the audiovisual department and we have an extensive collection of legacy holdings from several television stations from around the state. And when we have those 16 millimeter films are various antiquated tape formats digitized. And we get that back and we're finally able to see what was in these reels, what was hidden for so many years. It's, it's, it's exciting. And of course then to be able to put that onto the Louisiana Digital Media Archives, which is a database that we share with LPB for the general public to see. It's very gratifying, especially when we get feedback, which we often do. Um, so many times we get people calling and say, hey, that clip is my grandfather. Is there any way I can get a copy of that? Or, you know, hey, that's me as the unidentified person in your clip. I didn't know that existed. Louisiana has this spectacular Mardi Gras. My name is Katherine Newsom. I'm the State Archivist and Executive Director of the Louisiana State Archives, which is a division of the Louisiana Secretary of State's Office. As State Archivist, I'm responsible for both the Archives Department and the statewide records management system for the state of Louisiana. The most interesting part of my role as the State Archivist is seeing the collaboration between the Louisiana State Archives and the Secretary of State's Office in general. While historical institutions across our country and our state have seen lack of funding and other obstacles that they've had to overcome in the recent years, we're really proud to be a part of the Secretary of State's Office and Secretary Ardwan is a huge supporter of the Archives, which has been really good to moving our programs forward and we're really excited about where we're going. 
One area of improvement that our staff has identified as a need for us is really integrating new softwares and systems into our processes so we can do our job more efficiently. And we're hoping that as we purchase these new items, whether it be equipment or uh, computer programs, that this will help us get the records to our customers and patrons more easily and with efficiency. The processes here at the archives are great and they always have been. So are the people. Sometimes it just takes putting the right person in the right role to really get the best fruits of your labor. And so focusing in on staff strengths and weaknesses, moving people around, giving people the opportunity to cross train, that's one of the, my favorite things about working here at the archives. Uh, it's, it's like family here, man. And uh, we, we talk to everybody, we say hello to everybody, we very kind here. That's, that's my number, maybe number two, number one thing. It's just knowing that the work we do here matters. And because of us, we ensure that the records remain open and accessible to the public for viewing. I've always enjoyed the people that I worked with. And when you have a good team to work with, it's kind of, it makes your day a much more enjoyable and your work atmosphere a much more enjoyable one. It's been giving me the opportunity to learn more about my state and the fellow citizens in my state as well. Most people in Louisiana are familiar with the Archives building on Essen and Baton Rouge. It's a beautiful and historic building that's been here since the 1980s. But the most important part about the Archives is the people who work inside. And so our staff is 100% the best part of the Archives.